Every year, 15 million babies are born prematurely worldwide, and 1.1 million die from associated complications. Survivors are at greater risk of serious health problems. In the UK, women commonly present to hospital with symptoms of threatened preterm labour, but few will deliver within seven days. This makes prediction very difficult. To avoid missing cases, the current NICE guidelines advise that all women with symptoms of threatened preterm labour less than 30 weeks of gestation are treated. Less than 3% of these women will deliver within seven days and are given medication, like antenatal corticosteroids, unnecessarily. Women are often admitted or transferred to other hospitals just in case. This means maternal beds and neonatal cots are blocked and unavailable for those who actually need them. The process is emotionally stressful for women and their families and hugely costly to the NHS. A team from the Department of Women and Children's Health at King's College London and Guy's and St Thomas's NHS Trust have developed the QUIP app to manage women more effectively. So we're very interested in the management of preterm birth. This is a big problem for us. Because most women who come in in early labour um, go on and do not deliver, we really wanted a better way of determining um, who, who we need to worry about. I always find it really difficult when a woman arrives um, either at labour ward or the maternity assessment unit thinking that she might be in threatened preterm labour. Um, as clinicians, on the one hand, you're trying to balance the fact that she might have this baby born very early. Um, and on the other hand, you're very aware that the majority of women who have symptoms of preterm labour aren't actually going to deliver within the next seven days. You've really got to balance those risks up. If a woman is told that she um, might be having her baby early and is admitted to hospital, it can have a really massive effect on her and her partner. Um, simply being away from home can cause a massive burden on family life if the woman's got elder children that she needs to look after or just other commitments. It's also got a massive clinical burden as well so obviously it's blocking a bed for a woman who potentially may need that bed later. I've seen SHOs on the phone for over an hour bringing up different hospital units trying to find out who's got a spare bed and who's got a spare cot. So the Quip app is essentially a tool um, that we've developed based on a thousand women um, and it incorporates um, fetal fibronectin um, and a woman's personal risk factors for spontaneous preterm birth like whether she's had a previous preterm birth, whether she's had um, surgery on her cervix for example um, along with a cervical length measure measurement, if she has one available, and it assimilates all of those bits of information and then produces a risk of her delivering at certain clinically important gestations. The app is really user-friendly. Um, it's available for download on your mobile phone, but also via computer, so if you don't have your mobile phone with you, it's really easy to access it as well. It's got a really clear lay layout where you can use it for symptomatic women who arrive um, in your unit with symptoms of labour. We're going to look to see whether the app reduces anxiety and stress related to presenting with symptoms of threatened preterm labour. When um, the doctors and midwives used the app with me when I came to St Thomas, I had a stitch in place and when we came to the hospital it was thought that it wasn't working as best as it could. When I heard that, heard instant, instant panic, dread, felt sick to my stomach that I was going to lose my baby again. They used the Quip app on me and it turned out that my chance of going to preterm labour again was very, very small and I actually carried that baby to full term. It just gave me a really brilliant peace of mind, really, to help me. In the equipped trial, half the sites will use the app and half will not. So the study um, is a parallel cluster randomised control trial. So parallel means that we'll start the study simultaneously in all sites taking part. That's 14 obstetric centres. And cluster means that um, we will randomly allocate um, a centre rather than an individual to use the app um, in the management of threatened preterm labour. If the risk is greater than 5%, we suggest that clinicians looking after her consider interventions such as antenatal corticosteroids, magnesium sulfate, and possibly admission to hospital or transfer to another hospital.